What's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. Brand new to the Red Cat lineup. Just now, just today, within the last hour or less. Uh, I was already posting stuff in regards to it's coming soon. And Red Cat dropped it today. You guys can take, we can take uh, pre-orders on it right now. It should be coming out next week. The 14th, we'll start shipping them out. But very awesome. We do use Klarna. So if you guys want to break it down into easier payments, as you can see here, for easy payments... Oops, we got a little bit of messaging going on here. So, yeah, four easy payments, all good to go. But yeah, the, the Kaiju looks looks pretty good. It's a one eight scale. So let's dig in a little bit deeper on this vehicle here too. First, want to say the tires look good on it. I like them. They got nice bite to them. It's got some LEDs on the front of it too. Take a look at some other pictures of it here. Instead of it being just a rendering, like a graphic. See the real deal? So I like it. Um, yeah, even just the chassis layout as well. So I'm going gonna, gonna to go down towards the bottom here, and you guys can check it out on your own. So I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to check this out. A little bit more depth with it. I just want to give you guys a little bit of of an update on it that since it's brand new. So yeah, this thing's going to have... It's capable of 6S. You can do it in different configurations, like two, uh, 2S LiPos, or you can do it in a two, three S lipos, and I believe you can do it like a single pack as well. They'll have that little loop or whatever you want to call it to um, allow you to run one pack if, if you want to. But yeah, very nice on this one. I don't know what speeds are going to be or anything like that. I don't think it says anything about speeds on it. But um, 150 amp ESC, electronic speed controller, 2100 kV motor. So nice on that one. So it's going to be a nice amount of power that's in there. CVA drive shafts, so that's nice. And then we'll scroll down a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about with the CVA. But nice chassis layout. I do like that. Looks to be pretty rigid there with the honeycomb structure that's in it. So we'll see how that all kind of uh, comes out. But a 25 kilogram servo that's in it. High torque, waterproof, good. And I'm looking to see waterproof on the electronic speed controller and motor. So this is a waterproof setup. So cool. Like it. And uh, yeah, there's the CVAs as far as when it comes to the axle. Aluminum shocks, so very nice on that one. Your wheelie bar, so you do have some adjustments on that as well. What do you guys think about the, the body itself? I don't think it looks that bad. Honestly, it's kind of like a throwback. It's an older type truck uh, body that's on it. And speaking of body, it's got the clips are tethered to the body. I mean, we know that from Arma, right? But it's good to see other brands starting to do that now because... We know how those work. You get, you need to go. You go through a bunch of um, body clips because once you take a hard hit, the body clip goes flying off. It's nowhere to be found, and then you're buying a hundred pack of body clips because of the fact that they come off when you're bashing and crashing, right? So I like it. So this thing's got two LEDs, white LEDs in the front, then it's got two red LEDs in the back of it. So nice. Again, that wheelie bar looks good as far as the adjustments that are on it, as I was showing up here. So I like it. And it, it does so the only thing you're going to need when it comes to you know to get you started would be the batteries and the actual charger and four double A's obviously for that. It's going to be a standard remote anyhow Red Cat radio so four double A's for that. But yeah, um I'm excited. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think about this truck too. Of course I know you guys are going to be like, "Oh, we want to see what this thing looks like." Uh speaking of what it looks like, um I like the way the rims are. I like that it has that Red Cat logo in the rim itself. It looks really good. I do like that. I do like it when they people will do on real cars or whatever too. They'll have that little white logo around the um, on the wall of the tire itself. So it looks really good. So I like that it's on the um, rim too. Definitely shine, feels like a Proline tire, but I like it. Nice beefy bumper that's on there. It looks like it even has uh, shock guards on there as well. Well, as you can see it here a little bit too. So anyway, I definitely invite you guys to go over to our website, omgrc.com. Check this vehicle out. This thing looks good. And like I said, we use Klarna, so you guys can do it in four easy payments. And there's no fees. So long as you pay it off, you're good to go. There's no interest on it. So very good. Anyway, I'll put a link in the description, like I said before, so you guys can check this thing out for all it's worth. And it's goodness because it looks good. It's even got battery straps, so uh, Velcro straps that are in there too. So I don't like it when they have just a bar going across it uh, to hold everything in. So now you have the flexibility of bigger or smaller batteries. So that gives you makes it more universal. So I like that. That looks good. 
So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. We'll catch you on the next one really soon. Thank you for watching. Peace.